Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be a quick one, but I wanted to get it out of the way because uh, recently we got some awesome leaks on the upcoming GPD Win 4. Now this is a handheld I'm definitely looking forward to. I'm a big fan of the Win 3. And on the channel recently, we've taken a look at the new Win Max 2. Actually, both versions, the Intel version powered by an Alder Lake CPU and the AMD version powered by the new Ryzen 7 6800U. If you were interested in picking up any of those, I would personally go with the AMD version. And if you want to check those videos out, I'll leave links in the description. But today we're talking about the upcoming Win 4 and this thing looks absolutely amazing. Now as making this video, the leaks only suggest that they'll have an AMD version and really when it comes down to it, that's the way it should be with this one here. And as you can see from the leaked renders, we've still got that slide up display with a QWERTY keyboard underneath. Now a lot of this information is coming from the Fox over on Twitter and if you haven't checked him out on YouTube, definitely do it. He gets a hold of these GPD devices way in advance of everybody else and he makes some really awesome content. So I'll leave a link to his channel and Twitter in the description below. Definitely check it out. So as it sits right now, it looks like we're going to be getting two different color variants. We've got the white version and the black version. Uh, it's going to be hard to choose between them, but to alleviate any fingerprint issues, I'll probably be going with the white version. We've also got some sketches of the new Win 4 dock. I'm not sure if it's going to be compatible with the Win 3 dock. I don't think it would be. But overall, I really do like the look of this thing. And there is a prototype floating around. It really gives off a big PSP or a PS Vita vibe, which is something I really like. And they've also taken a picture of it kind of next to the Win 3, just to give you a little bit of a size comparison. We've also got an image of the rear, so it looks like we've got plenty of ventilation for that APU. And we've also got some initial specs. Now this could change at any time, but you know, it's definitely looking promising and it kind of falls in line with what's going on right now with other handhelds on the market. So for the CPU, or rather the APU, this will be using the AMD Ryzen 7 6800U. I'm not sure if they're going to have any other variants. Uh, it would be nice to see something with a 6600U for a bit cheaper. But with this, we get 8 cores, 16 threads, up to 4.7 GHz. We've seen this in several thin and light laptops, and the WinMax 2 is also powered by the same chip, at least the AMD version is. You can opt for 16 or 32 GB of LPDDR5 RAM running at 6400 MHz, a 1 or 2 TB NVMe SSD, a 45 watt hour battery, and when it comes to the 6800U, there's lots of different tweaks and tuning that you can do to it. You can go down to 5 watts if you want to. You can go all the way up to 45 watts, but uh, from 15 to 28 is kind of the base range there. And through my testing with the 6800U so far, I find that on handhelds around 18 watts is going to be a real nice sweet spot for AAA gaming on this thing. It's going to be rocking a 6 inch slide up 1080p display with that QWERTY keyboard underneath it. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to be using for the keyboard. Whether it's going to be a membrane keyboard or a domed keyboard, we'll have to see that when it comes out. Weight on this is estimated to be around 566 grams. This will support USB 4 so we can connect an external GPU. It's also going to have one full size USB 3.2 port and another 3.2 USB type C. I really love seeing extra ports on these handhelds because with the power these things are putting out and the fact that we can connect an external display, these actually make really good desktops when they're set up correctly and having only one port on there really doesn't do it justice. We'll also have Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 and since we've seen the performance of the 6800U and other devices, I mean we can get a feel for what this thing can do out of the box and it's going to perform really really well with that new RDNA 2 iGPU. I suspect that GPD will run a campaign on Kickstarter or Indiegogo, they do with a lot of their devices just to get a feel for, you know, how many people want to get them, what kind of manufacturing they need to do on them. But as soon as we get some more solid information, I will make another video. But don't forget to check out the Fox on YouTube and his Twitter page because they'll have a lot of information coming up in the next few weeks. Hopefully I can get my hands on one of these early, and if I do, I'll definitely be testing all kinds of stuff on it. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. I was excited about this, so I figured I'd make a quick video. And I know a lot of other people out there are also excited about the Win 4. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you're also excited about this device. Is this something you've been waiting for? Are you going to get one? Are you going to skip it? Wait for the Steam Deck 2? Or handhelds with more powerful components? But that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.